In a quiet, picturesque village nestled in the hills of Japan, a renowned Zen teacher named Sensei Akira lived in a small, traditional temple. People from far and wide sought his wisdom and guidance on the path to positive thinking and inner peace. One day, a troubled and disillusioned young man named Yuji arrived at Sensei Akira's temple. Yuji had lost hope in life and carried a heavy burden of negativity. He hoped the wise teacher could help him find a way to see the world in a more positive light. Sensei Akira agreed to take Yuji under his wing as a student. He introduced Yuji to the temple's stone garden, a beautiful but seemingly chaotic arrangement of rocks. Sensei handed Yuji a rake and instructed him to clear the garden of leaves and debris. Day after day, Yuji raked the garden, but it seemed like an endless and fruitless task. Frustration grew within him, and he questioned the purpose of this monotonous chore. Sensei Akira observed his student struggle but said nothing. Weeks turned into months, and Yuji's attitude began to shift. He noticed that as he cleared away the clutter, he could appreciate the elegance of each rock and the harmony in their placement. His mind, once filled with negativity, began to clear, much like the stone garden itself. One day, as the garden was pristine, Sensei Akira invited Yuji to sit with him and meditate. Under the warm sun, surrounded by the serene stone garden, Yuji found a sense of peace and contentment that he had never known before. He realized that the repetitive act of raking the garden had taught him valuable lessons about patience, persistence, and the beauty that could emerge from diligence. Sensei Akira explained, just as you cleared away the leaves and debris to reveal the beauty of the stone garden, so can you clear your mind of negativity and reveal the beauty of life itself. Positive thinking is like the garden's hidden beauty, it's always there, waiting to be uncovered. With a heart filled with gratitude, Yuji left the temple with a new outlook on life. He had learned that the path to positive thinking was not in denying life's challenges, but in finding the beauty and lessons within them.